Good morning, it's Kate here, mynaturalhappiness.com, Reading School of Reiki, helping you go from hamster to happiness. I hope you are fine, I hope you're well, I hope you've had the most magical week. Um, mine has been very busy and uh, I'm just starting to land after a restful time. So, uh, oh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's amazing when life creates a busy schedule for us, how much we can handle it, isn't it? It always amazes me how much we can fit in when we actually push ourselves to the limit and then it's important to take time out afterwards, which is what I'm going to be doing Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So I have pulled out a card for the week for those watching the video, as always. And it's really interesting actually because um, I'm not sure I could uh, have planned it. It's our Divine Timing card again. This, this card seems to be coming up a lot, which is really interesting that we've got things shifting in our lives, those watching the video. And uh, yeah, it's really amazing. So, the card meaning, meaning, which we have heard before, and I shall, uh, for those watching the video regularly, and I shall repeat. The card meaning, pay attention to doors that are opening and shutting for you right now. Walk through doors that are open and learn from the doors that are shut. Your prayers are being answered, there is no doubt about that. However, everything operates according to the universal laws of divine timing. This means that certain pieces of the puzzle must first fall into place so that other parts can come into fruition. If you try to skip or rush certain pieces or parts, the whole plan will lack a solid foundation. So it's a real remember reminder there to take one step at a time with everything, which is a powerful reminder for me right now, is actually. So don't try to force open any doors that appear closed to you. Instead, ask your angels for guidance to see if the door closed because of negative expectations. If it's simply a sign of divine timing, look for other doors that do open and walk through them with faith and gratitude. Um, so yeah, one step at a time. So don't skip or rush certain pieces or parts. The whole plan will lack a solid foundation. So divine timing. Pay attention to what's going on along the way. Now, as we've had this card a few times, I thought what I would do is pull out another card um, as a corresponding card to divine timing to give us a bit of guidance as to what the universe is trying to say um, with divine timing. For me it resonates perfectly and I know exactly what it's talking about and as I was reading that, even though I've heard those words a few times recently, it's in relation to a different situation this time. So I thought, so it resonates perfectly in my life and at the same time it's always good to just weave in and see where the corresponding ed energies are along the way um, and I haven't pulled that card yet so I thought I'd do it now and just see what the corresponding card is for the those watching the video to divine timing so let's see what the universe is telling us <laughs> well, <laughs> excuse me laughing here <laughs> At the start of this call, this uh, video I said, you know, what was that, three minutes ago, four minutes ago, that um, I've had a very busy time and I'm weaving in some rest um, along the way to ensure that, you know, I, I gather my energies back up again and sort of spend time uh, restoring my energy and being with those that I love. Well, the card that corresponds to divine timing is balance. <laughs> Couldn't make it up, could you? <laughs> so, I think that's confirmation for me that uh, at the right time, that taking a bit of time out uh, 
in the next couple of days is going to mean everything. <laughs> so for those watching the video, correspondence to divine timing is balance. Card meaning. Has your schedule been lopsided lately? Be sure to balance your time between work, play, spirituality, exercise and relationships. The angels know that you are busy. With many earthly demands on your time, they want to help you with your responsibilities through the process of balance. Whenever our schedules become disproportionate, our energy drops. Lowered energy creates the illusion that there isn't enough time in the day. So a vicious cycle of time limitation ensues. Your angels ask you to add regular doses of meditation, exercise and play to your days. They know that balancing your life between work, play, spirituality, exercise and relationships help you to grow and feel joy. If you feel overwhelmed by your responsibilities, don't hesitate to ask God and your angels to lift your burden. I, I don't think I need to say any more about that, do I? Goodness, so if I ever wanted confirmation I'm doing the right thing by taking a bit of time for myself to restore my energies, then um, there it is. And it's for those watching the video as well. So I really would be interested to hear if, it, if this, these two cards resonate with anyone else. Um, because I pulled them for those watching the video. So we've got divine timing and balance peak above. Um, so I hope that helps along the way and gosh, just amazing, just amazing. When we have permission and we give ourselves permission to take time off, um, even though I sit there and say it to everybody, take time off, take time, you know, take time for yourself. <laughs> My cats are causing mayhem. This is Mr. Mr. Bojangles. Hello. If you've been wondering what the noises have been along the way, then it's been the, the boys playing um, and running up and down. But yeah, sometimes we can get caught into the, we need to do this, we should do that, we should do this. And it's very easy to become bogged down and overwhelmed by everything. And when I realised just how busy this past week and a half was going to be for me, I blocked Sunday out completely, utterly and totally for me to just restore, rejuvenate and take time. And it's just um, amazing that we, that we have the outside permission, even though it's the right thing to do, there is always that feeling of responsibility to people and actually letting go of that is the most important thing sometimes and that's what I did this weekend and it's going to be amazing. So I hope, I'd love to hear your stories, I'm rambling a bit now um, because I've got a cat running around. Life, life carries on, life carries on. So yeah, interesting times indeed. So I shall now thoroughly enjoy my day off with absolutely no guilt. I shall restore, rejuvenate and I shall be kind to me. And I hope you take a lesson from that and you take time off for you and to balance everything in your life and to restore, rejuvenate because as is so, I remind people over and over again, you can't pour from an empty cup. Take time to fill your cup along the way. As Mr Bojangles is doing right now by creating space to rest and fall asleep. So have an amazing week. Enjoy so much. And I look forward to catching you next week when we're all restored, rejuvenated and in pure balance. Take care with so much love. Kate, mynaturalhappiness.com, reigning school of Reiki, helping you go from hamster to happiness. Have a great week.